Hi, this is Naomi with Sword and Steel, and today I will be breaking open this Gothazar Bone Harvester for the Ossiarch Bone Reapers. Alright, the Gothazar Harvester. Look at that guy. I didn't notice when I looked at him in the Battle Tome, but do you see what his cod piece is? That is just creepy. I mean, very useful, I guess, for the low, <laughs> the low bones on the ground that needs to be picked up, but holy smokes. All right. Two sprues. All right, so let's see. I think there are a couple different head options as well, and you can use scythe, uh, like scything hands, instead of uh, these big balls of nastiness. Ah, so you can orient his his head a couple different ways from the looks of it. Yep, yeah, and there are a couple different heads that you could go with. And yeah, you could use these slicing weapons instead of the bashing weapons. Or perhaps one of each? We'll see. Now he's got a cute little extra uh, skull and sword for the base. I think I'll probably snag that for something else. It seems rather lonely on his base. Perhaps we'll just use a whole bunch of skulls on his base instead. It's very nice. All right, so Gothazar Harvester is 200 points, I believe. Mm. Yeah, he's a behemoth and he is 200 points. Ah, and on the back, you can see how they painted him. All right. So here is his war scroll in a variety of different uh, languages, and so 200 points, he has 10 wounds, he moves 6, he saves on a 4+, plus and he has a 10 bravery, and he has a missile weapon, range beginning at 16 inches, his death heads maw. Four attacks, three plus to hit, three plus to wound, red minus one, and one damage. And then he has, th right, so he, you have the choice of, uh, as Gothasar Harvester is a single model armed with one of the following weapon options, Soul Crusher Bludgeons, with ossified hooves and tail and death heads maw, or Soul Cleaver Sickles with ossified hooves and tail and death heads maw, so... The sickles, if you went with that option, have... Uh, okay, actually, the, if you go with the sickles, you get six attacks, three plus, three plus, uh, three plus to hit, three plus to wound, run minus two, and two damage. Or if you go with the soul crusher bludgeons, is six attacks, three plus to hit, three plus to wound, run minus two, and two damage each. Now, I imagine it's more than the aesthetics that are different. They probably have unique abilities down here. Yeah, they do. Okay. And also, the ossified hooves and tail has a 2-inch range, 4 attacks, 3 plus to hit, 3 plus to wound, ren minus 1, and 2 damage. So all of his attacks, except for the missile weapon, do at least 2 damage. That ren minus 2 is really nasty. The ossified hooves and tail says 2 plus, 3 plus, 4 plus, 5 plus, and 6 plus, but it doesn't have 
what it changes. <laughs> I, I'm what the, it's... okay. So typo there. It looks like on this one. Uh, to wound is supposed to be as, as an asterisk. So the two wound is supposed to be an asterisk and it starts at two plus, which is nice, uh, but then goes up as his uh, as he takes more wounds. See that there? To wound. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm starting to distrust this thing. Let's just look at the rest of <laughs> the rest of what he does in the actual battle tome. So, he has a bone harvest ability. Roll a dice each time a model is slain with three inches within three inches of this model. On a four plus, you can pick one friendly Osiric Bone Reapers unit within six inches of this model. If you do so, and the slain model had a wounds characteristic of four or less, you can heal one wound allocated to that unit. If the slain model had a wound characteristic of 5 to 9, you can heal up to d3 wounds allocated to that unit. Or if the slain model had a wounds characteristic of 10 or more, you can heal up to d6 wounds allocated to that unit. If there are no wounds allocated to that unit you pick, you can return a number of slain models to that unit with combined wounds characteristic that is equal to or less than the number of wounds you kill, which is really neat. He goes in and slays things and heals other people when, is, when they harvest their bones. So the Soclus Crusher bludgeons. Um, if the unmodified hit roll for an attack made with Soul, Cru Cru Soul Crusher bludgeons is 6, that attack inflicts 2 mortal wounds on the target and the attack sequence ends. Versus add 1 to hit rolls for attacks made with Soul Weaver Sickles if the target unit's has five or more models. So, if you really wanted to go after a big units, I'd go for the Soul Cleaver Sickles. That's what you wanted to use them for. But I think if you were going, f if you're planning on taking out heroes with this guy, I'd use the Soul Crusher Bludgeons. Hmm, not certain which one I would do. Must think on that. And, you know, just to see if there was any other mistakes here. So the, that one's correct. The bone harvest is the same. And that one is the same. And that one is the same. So it was just that this is supposed to be an asterisk and otherwise is the same. Right. Now let's have a look at the model himself. So much going on here. So there are the two head options. You got like a birdish, turtleish option, and a more carnivorous option. I suppose, I suppose that's carnivorous too, but two different options. I don't know. I think I'd probably go with both of them. Not sure. I have to really decide. Got these meaty limbs. Cool banner. That's one of his sickle arms. It's in his bony feet. His various extra arms. Carrying skulls. <laughs> That's interesting. Why are there skulls on the inside of these? Can you even see that? I guess so. I suppose you can, yeah. It must be see through on one side, because look, you've got skulls on the inside of these P 
pieces. So, so many skulls. <laughs> I think these are his big shoulder plates. His legs. So it's a big beast of a guy. Oh, there's the extra little thing that he put on his base. Got some of the really creepy looking birds. He's got a lot of extra arms for for carrying all of the harvested, harvested bones. Alright. There you can see some of his back. With all the various bones sticking out of it. A little snout of some beast. I think this is the long arm that does a missile attack. I am very happy with contrast paints at this point. <laughs> Looking at all of these skulls. Mm hmm. Oh, there it is. Look, and this one has a uh, Stormcat's eternal head. I like that. I like his uh, armor too. And it has runes in there ready to be painted. Another bird. Try I, I enjoy the fact that there's a carrion bird trying to uh, steal one of his bones and they're having a little fight. <laughs> Just a really neat feature. Now, where's his cod piece? It's around here somewhere. It's hard to identify at first because it's a face. <laughs> oh, I missed it. It was on the first one. There he is. There's his codpiece. Well, looks pretty happy, actually. <laughs> well, he is quite the beast, and he heals, so nasty combination. Uh, I don't know how many I would want in the army. Um, at least two, I think, maybe. Feels like he's a uh, really nice one to send off to beat on heroes. Uh, he's got a six inch, uh, he's got a six inch movement which is not so bad, not so great but not so bad. On the other hand he could also really fell down uh, big units because he's, he has ten wounds and does a bunch of damage in combat. Hmm. And heals. Uh, now was it? I assume he could heal himself. Let's just double check that. Mm, on a 4 plus, you pick one friendly unit within 6 inches. Yeah, it doesn't say other friendly unit. So unless they change the rules on that, he could just heal himself and it's each time a model is slain. So he is going to be tough to kill. Yeah, maybe I would then put him in put him with some sickles and send him into big armies because he'll just keep killing and he'll just keep healing and he'll just go right on through them. Fun! Well, if you liked the video, give us a like and if you'd like to see more unboxings of Age of Sigmar and other wargaming material, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell notification so you are, are aware as soon as we put out our next video. Thanks for watching! Bye!